children have been home for quite a long time on Two this months. holiday mm -hmm. and Christmas is smelling mm -hmm. and they still have another almost 26 days before they go back to school. Yeah. Parents, it is important for us to know that parenting teenagers can be very fanful, but it can be equally very frustrating very scaring but we have to sacrifice it can also be very agonizing and also very amazing <laughs> so we what we need to do with our children is have a, what what i normally call a hot talk because this generation they know there's nothing they don't know even even a little toddler will tell you a few things that you think they don't know they know so every parent out there and i'm a, I'm a parent by the way i've walked the journey as being a teenager to my parents and then I've, I have grown up now, teenagers, adults, we are there. So mm. I, I'm talking from experience and I work quite a lot with children. And I have realized that uh, when you, you have an open talk with them, they contribute a lot. And I normally use a lot of acronyms when I'm talking about parenting and to teenagers. Every parent should be a hot parent. Where hate tells us to be very honest, be open. Like now we sit here, we cannot want to downplay what happened on the 1st of December every year, where we have just commemorated HIV and AIDS. Mm -hmm. And we also know the number where Kenya starts. So every parent should be able to sit down their children and discuss that. And the only way you can be able to discuss that is asking rhetorical questions. By the way, do you know about HIV and AIDS? They may not answer, but you, you'll be able to probe into it. Yeah. Then you be very open with your child. Be very open. When you hear us talk now, take notes. When you hear news from somewhere, take notes. What you hear, what you see. Should be able to open a conversation with your children. We are on the word hot. Then T, we have to be very truthful. We have to tell them how HIV and AIDS comes. You know, when I go for school closing day and grade two will come and start there and say, Ukimwini Munyama Mbaya, I have to tell them it's not Munyama. Imagine there's no Ukim that comes with Mabawa and comes and then mm -hmm. we have to tell them how it happens. And we are growing children at very challenging times. When even they are challenging parenting, where even we know that defilement is so much on the increase, where our children are so confused, they think, sex is a child play game yeah. so we cannot parent the way we are parented but we cannot compromise on discipline and manners yes i like that wow. we can't parent the way we were parented yes. and you have to be